Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel. I guess I should probably start off by giving you a little introduction to who I am and what this channel is about. So <laughs> I am Kaylee, a 26 year old female from Australia and I am on the ultimate health, fitness and wellness journey. My own adventure. <laughs> I have zero expertise or qualifications in the fitness and wellness space and I do not pretend to so quick little disclaimer there zero professional knowledge purely just my own opinions and thoughts and working things out for myself as I go along but I thought I'd share the journey because why not and hey if I even help one other person and motivate them to go on their fitness journey and if that one other person is future Kaylee that's fine. It's still a win in my books. <laughs> All right. So unlike a lot of other fitness people in the online space and on the YouTubes and the Instagrams and the Twitters and all of those, I don't have any background in fitness or sport. I hated PE as a kid. I think I maybe did a term of hockey in primary school, I want to say maybe high school, mm, but just one term of hockey when I was younger. And I would have been the worst person to have on their team because I just stood on the stand, like sidelines and barely participated. I don't know why I decided to do a term of field hockey, but anyway, in fact, in my PE classes in high school, I actually had a few like meetings between myself, my teachers and my parents about my lack of participation in PE or the physical part of PE. For example, when we did baseball, I would just sit underneath a tree on the oval or when we did cricket, I would just, you know, walk up and down the oval instead of being in the field ready to catch a cricket ball. Hockey, I would stand in the corner. Basketball, I'd stand in the corner. Netball, I'd stand in the corner. Dance, I'd stand in the corner. You get the idea. Like I hated sport. <laughs> Not my thing at all. However, when I left school, graduated year 12, I delved into looking at fitness programs and I've tried so many, but none of them have really stuck. I think in all of my, you know, how old am I, 26, so eight years, trying out fitness programs, I have completed two fully. First is the Pop Pilates Beginners Calendar by Blogilates, and the second is the Stronger by B, toned in eight weeks. Eight years, and I've completed about 20 weeks of exercising completely. Yeah, it's, um, it's a little sad. <laughs> I am well known for jumping on the fitness bandwagon for, you know, a week or two, falling right back off for a few months, jumping back on for, you know, another week, a few days, you know, however long I feel like it, falling right back off. <laughs> but not this time. This time I am filming myself to keep myself accountable to myself and uploading it to the YouTubes in case anyone wants to join. How did I get where I am now? So for the last week I have been following a fitness program, a new one that I haven't tried before and it has been great so far. I've really 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 enjoyed it. Let me tell you how I found it. I figured Where's the best place to start trying to find a fitness program that I'm going to actually stick to? So I thought about it. What exercises do I like? I like basic strength training, not like bodybuilding, like not really heavy weights, but still, you know, weightlifting. I do really like that feeling. It makes me feel like, you know, like a strong, independent woman. But I also love yoga and pop Pilates by Blog Pilates, <laughs> Cassie Ho. I love, I love her workouts, but it just doesn't have that right vibe for me to like go after it completely. You know what I mean? But I do really love her workouts when I do them sporadically. And I've tried Emily Sky Fit before, back when she had her ebooks, not her app. And I liked them, but it was just a little bit too intimidating for me. I've tried Kayla at Senior Sweat Program. Uh, her baby, I think it was called BBG at the time. I don't might have a new name now, I'm not sure. Like again, back when she had ebooks rather than her app. It was very hit focused and I threw up after my first day of doing it. It was a nightmare, too intense for me, way too intense. Then I tried Anna Victoria. Now, 
I didn't like Anna Victoria's program herself. Like it seems like a great program, but it wasn't for me. However, on her Fit Body app, she has a few wonderful ladies on there, but two of them really stuck out to me. First one was Brittany Lupton. Now she has a revive postpartum program. I'm not postpartum. I don't plan on ever being postpartum. Kids are not in my, in my future. But I figured it looks like a really like easy, simple like workout program to do. It's only three days a week and there's no harm in strengthening my core muscles, strengthening my pelvic floor muscles, focusing on my breathing and my posture. You know, it's all good things. So why can't I do it? You don't have to be postpartum to do it. So I'm doing that one three days a week as a sort of like, you know, warm up program to follow. But I'm also doing Martina Sergius, I want to say her name is. I hope I didn't like butcher the pronunciation of that. Her Rise yoga program with a focus on strength and flexibility. I have been doing it for about a week now and I am in love. It is honestly amazing. Like two things I really want to focus on, strength and flexibility. It involves my love of yoga, it involves my love of like body weight, and light weight lifting. It's just... It's like the, the thing that has been missing this whole entire time on my fitness journey that has gone nowhere. I am so excited about it. I'm so motivated to just get going. I know motivation will die out. It always does. But for once, I'm actually confident that I can persevere through the slumps, largely because I'm filming, you know, my experience as I go along, but also because this program just hits differently than other ones did. Like I really enjoyed other programs, but none of them have really like just sunk into my heart and really spoken to my soul. And this one does. This one is chef's kiss. Beautiful. Oh, I cannot speak its praises enough and I'm only a week in. It is unbelievable. That is my program that I'm following. So Martina Sergi's Rise program and Brittany Lupton's Revive program on Anna Victoria's Fit Body app. <laughs> I don't think it's Anna Victoria's Fit Body app, but it's like she was like the co-creator or the creator of it. So yeah, I'm very excited about this journey. It's going to be amazing. So my goals are not weight-based. I have no idea what I weigh. I haven't weighed myself in over a year. Like I have no idea. I have no interest in knowing what I weigh. I would guess, but why? Like, what does it matter? In the end of the day, who really cares what you weigh? However, I did take my measurements because I do think that has some value to it. And I did take before photos and a before video because, again, I do think that has, oh, I do think that has some value in it. But my goal isn't to lose weight. It's not to have any physical changes, although any physical changes will be, you know, appreciated. Obviously, I won't turn my nose up at them. But my goal is to feel stronger and to feel less tired. As a 26 year old woman, I am not healthy. Like I'm not not healthy, but I'm not healthy. I am tired all the time, no energy. My sleep is whack. My eating is like sporadic. Um, it is better now that I'm doing meal plans, but it's still sporadic. And my energy levels are just so, so low. Like I need to have multiple caffeinated coffees, not decaf, like full calf coffees in a day, like two or three, to keep myself going. It's not healthy at all. And I mean, that's probably contributing to my tiredness, having so much caffeine, but the withdrawals kind of suck and working from home, <laughs> like it's just right there. It's so easy to get. Uh, it's something I need to work on. But yeah, so I know I want to feel energetic and strong and like I have energy to get through the day. I don't want to, I spend 90% of my time in bed when I'm not working. Like this bed, right? It's the best bed in the world. Like I love it. Best investment ever, this bed. But I don't want to be spending 90% of my day in it when I'm not working because that's not living life to my fullest. And I am determined to live life to my fullest. I am young. I have so much to grow into. I have so many goals I want to reach. So many things I want to accomplish. And I'm not going to do that. Lying in this bed here. <laughs> yeah, I want to be able to have the energy to get out and do things. 
and not be tired all the time and you know being tired all the time it's just not good for my mental health either i have chronic headaches and honestly my body has just freaked out and it's like kaylee what are you doing girl you need to get your shit together or i'm gonna just you know shut down on you and it's just it's not on it's really it's really not on <laughs> So that's my goal to give you an idea of what sort of videos you can expect from me this is like a sort of introduction vibe thing i didn't really know what to do with my first video it's always so awkward <laughs> but i've actually planned out my next 17 videos uh 16 this was the first one so 16 more videos i've planned out so I have a schedule which i'm very excited about because i've never been this organized in my life about anything to do with stuff like this very excited about it but we can expect some healthy baking some challenges vlog style fitness style sort of feely vibes health wellness lifestyle and yeah if you are sort of into this vibe and think this video is kind of shit but i can see where where the energy is, where the thought is, you know, I can see this growing into something better and her getting better at this as she goes along because believe me, I will. Also, I have a proper camera, but we've lost a charger to it. So I'm currently using my phone, which is not ideal, but I can fix that. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It just means so much to me and that someone else is watching apart from myself. And I will catch you all next week. Oh, I will be posting videos every single Sunday Australian time into the you know foreseeable future so I will see you all next week bye